Hello everybody, and today we are gonna be making a digital journal using Google Docs. Uh, it's something I've been doing since like 2015, 16, as you can see here. Um, I think I missed one year, I was teaching in Overage, and uh, I just, it was rough, I just I didn't really have the time for it. But uh, otherwise, ever since then, I've been doing it. I found it pretty helpful, especially for tracking like kind of like student progress throughout the course of a year or over multiple years, because I've had some students for four years now. Um, just like a general note keeping thing or anything else. Relatively easy to do. I learned about it and I was like, whoa, this is actually pretty cool. So I'm gonna kind of pass this on to you guys and uh, show you how to do it. Some of you may know how to do this already or be familiar with how it gets set up, um, but whatever. And then as we go through, I'll kind of show you examples of what I have from mine. All right, so I'm in my Google Drive here. We're just gonna go to new, Google Doc, and wait for that to load up. All right, we'll just give this a nice little title. We'll call this a test journal that and uh, pretty much the way it works is all using headings with the table of contents so if I want I can go here and I go to title let's put this right in the middle here just journal and you can make this a little bit nicer or not that is completely up to you and then we're gonna go to insert table of contents and you could use it with page numbers or with the blue links. I like the blue links because then I can go back and I'll show you why in a moment. So I'm gonna put that there. So there's that. I'm actually, after this, I'm gonna insert a break, page break. So it brings it down on the next page there. Okay, and you can have a label table of contents or not, it's up to you. Then I'm gonna go back down into here, go insert, I'm gonna do another page break. And now I'll start with my first heading. So let's see, let's go heading one. I can call this quarter one. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in another break. And you don't have to use the breaks like this, I do. Heading one again, quarter two. All right, and I'll just leave it like that. Or you could call them semester one, semester two. I'm just doing this just to show you how it works. So then that's in the quarter one. Now I may go and then go in like heading two and say like day one, uh, September, first, right, whatever it might be. And now when I go back up to here, you see nothing's done. I click into it, populate, and there it goes. So now I can use the blue links, click, it brings me in the quarter one, or if I wanna go to day one, like that. Now there's, I haven't really found an easy way to kind of keep populating. So if I wanna now just write like, this was a great day. Uh, first day back, something like that. Um, now when I go to day two, I'm gonna go back in, no text, and I can go into heading two, day two, blah, 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 blah. And you can keep going on like that. Um, usually what I do is I have a table. I'll show you how my tables are set up. So I can you can even go cut and paste, right? Like that, and then go in and change them. If you look on the left-hand side here, you can see it's populating. And then when I go back up to my list, click, refresh there it is so that's how i use it so i'll show you an example of one of mine now uh, where i use a table to kind of work its way through and it works out nice and you can break this pretty much however you want up oh, click here let's go to uh it's 1819. now we have some motivational things on the top of mine but you can see here the table of contents so now if i click i can go into any day let's uh click day six thursday b day i had and then here, just tells me what I was doing in the class. So now here I didn't have set up with a table. Uh, this was last year. So this is kind of, you just run through and see how it is. But let's go back. Let's go to my recent one. Uh, here we go, 2019-20. And I'll show you how I did it with tables. Okay, so I click, let's click any day, day 15. And now I have tables right here. So you can see in, what I do is I can also put links in here. Sometimes I even put pictures of stuff into it as well. I just, let's scroll through and see if I have anything like that. It doesn't look like it on this one. Sometimes I have it, sometimes I know it depends. I know actually in 1819, I was actually bigger into the pictures. Oh, I started tables. So I'll even do stuff like this. If I have a meeting, I'll write down the stuff within the meeting, all right, or anything else like that. It's all in notes there too. So that's pretty much how you do it. Uh, I like it doesn't take much to do it's not hard to set up and you know if you're you know especially now with the way things are going on if they're asked to keep a journal this is like a really easy way of doing it uh, so I think that's about it there's not much really more to it so it's just using the different headings right here 
And that's it. And that's how you can basically create a digital journal. Uh, that's it. Oh, another feature with it before I forget. If you want to find something, so let's say I can do control F, I could type in like a student, like James. And now you can see, right, everywhere he is. And then he can go, uh, go like find through and see maybe a call. So you can even do like a uh, phone, right? So now you can see that comes up. And it can go, you can check for see where phone calls are, or you can even do something like supplies and keep it for a supply list. Now that's it. I don't think there's anything more after that. So I hope you enjoyed this little video on how to create a digital journal using um, these little uh, headings right here. And this is with the blue links. All right, if you want the page numbers, click page numbers. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Take care.